Welcome back to TGIF. We are back with Al Reynolds and Funky Dineva. Let's get into some topics. We can cover a lot of ground with these last 15 minutes. Uh, okay. Some people have a heart of gold and others have a heart of stone. Kevin Hart's personal shopper stole over $1 million from the funny man by making unauthorized charges to his credit cards for nearly 19 months. The suspected personal shopper was arrested this week. He reportedly bought Louis Vuitton bags, watches, and fine arts. And authorities also recovered $250,000 in cash from his home. He's facing up to 25 years in prison. Was it too trusting of Kevin to give him the personal shopper that much access to his money? Or is that just what people at that level of wealth do? It was very trusting. It was very stupid. There's in 19 months. Let me. It's just reckless. I know you're Kevin Hart. I know you're a listener. I know you're busy, but you're not that damn busy. Not to mention your wife don't damn work. Okay, what the hell she home doing all day? <laughs> Somebody need to be somewhere checking some damn credit card statements. On top of that, whoever the hell pay your bills, they didn't notice that your credit card balance was a little off trend this month versus your normal spending pattern. There's too many people in that equation who wasn't doing what they were supposed to be doing for a million damn dollars to come up missing within 19 months. Okay, so I'm going to give this my two seconds right here. So first of all, this entire story reeks of something is not adding up something's not right here okay so remember in the store he brought four watches that were at four hundred thousand dollars a piece he brought art that was a half a million dollars but when they went to his house they only found two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff right something in this story just smells very fishy to me it seems like there may have been some type of collusion in my mind if you will because i don't know too many people that don't know when that credit card rings a four hundred thousand dollar purchase first of all i don't care who you are you get an alert and the richer you are the quicker the alerts get to you so i'm gonna say i'm gonna err on the side that something to me says that this young man is falling on the sword for something a little bit bigger well i guess time will tell uh, moving on kirk franklin spoke out against homophobia in the church during a recent sirius xm radio interview he's saying what is very important to understand is that the pulpit is not a bullying place he went on to add it's that you have some LBGTQIA plus people that make decisions. Like I have some close gay friends who make decisions based on their interpretation of the Bible. They live out of their lives based on whether, uh, on celibacy or whatever they choose to do. I'm sorry. They live, what the hell? They live out their lives based on whether celibacy or whatever they choose to do. And they should have that right. Um, well, Kirk Franklin received backlash from conservative Christians because of his comments. It sounds like he's taking up for the community. And sometimes the church has a complicated relationship with that. I don't know why still in 2021. I think it's ridiculous, personally. Of course, he's going to get some backlash from people because you've got people who were raised and taught a certain thing and they believe a certain thing. They will throw all logic out of the window. They will subscribe to the deepest level of cognitive dissonance to uphold their worldview. And there's a very funny relationship that the black church in particular has mm -hmm. with homosexuality as it relates to that in any other damn sin. Barbara could steal, kill, shoot, adult, have a baby out of wet like this, that, and the third. They will show up to the baby shower. They will, they will show up and throw a free my, my homeboy Boosie from jail party. They will even cry, contend, and take an offering to help get somebody off a murder charge. But you show up to the church and you tell them you gay and all of a sudden they come hit you with the thunder, the lightning, and all the rain from Noah when it rained for 40 days. And 40 <laughs> I just don't understand why it is that if you are of the belief that homosexuality is a sin, that it's not treated any different than any of the other sins that, that, that Black people in the church tend to overlook or minimalize. And what they need to realize and what they need to accept is that much of it is not rooted in God and the Bible, but it's straight up rooted in ignorance and homophobia. And how we mm. do with that, so many people, prominent people in the church, highly religious people, people that are very famous for their ties to the church are in fact part of the community low key. And it's not even just modern times. Let's take it on back to the Catholic church going back decades and decades and decades, actually hundreds of years. So it's like while you're sitting there preaching about how bad this stuff is, you're doing it in the dark and you're creeping around and, you're, and, 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 and living a lie. Whatever and your sexuality is, it's natural. It can't be suppressed. 
nature will always supersede and trump man-made institutions. And that is why you find all those Catholic priests find themselves touching boys or having it engaging in homosexual acts because you can't suppress nature no matter how hard you try. It's, she's going to always win. Al? I'm going to leave that right there because I was going to say, you know, that could be why he's issuing the statement that he issues. Hmm. That's another show. Kurt Franklin. <laughs> Moving on, Halle Berry isn't too happy about paying uh, excess, excessive amounts of child support to one of her ex-boyfriends. The Oscar-winning actress reportedly pays her ex, Gabrielle, $16,000 a month in child support, and she's been kind of lashing out about it. I'm here for this. I never felt right about this woman paying this white man all this money when she has the baby the majority of the time. Anyways, uh, so when the subject was brought up on social media, she responded to a troll saying it's wrong. And it's extortion. The way many laws are set up, people are allowed to use children in order to be awarded money to live a lifestyle that is not only, that they, they did not earn. That's way above and beyond the child's reasonable needs. She also addressed that women do take advantage of this too. So I don't want to leave that part out. So people say, well, what about when women do it to men? I think she's saying it's just wrong, period. Do you agree with Halle Berry? And, and there should, be, should there be limits paid on excessive child support? Al, what do you think? First of all, Okay, I need, I love, first of all, I love Holly, Holly Berry. I totally get it. But what I need to know is how does a young white male, 20 years younger than you, get custody over your child? I don't think I he need has for, He definitely has custody of the child because he would not get, he would not get child support at the ring of $17,000 a month if he didn't have primary custody. I don't think he does. Let me find out. So you listen, you can't you can't get a custody payment if you don't have custody of the child. He doesn't he's getting child support, correct? I think that's why he's getting I, child I was, support. I correct? was thinking that I was like, if they got joint No, 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 no. It, let's be very clear of what's going on here. He's getting child support because he has primary custody of their child. Why does he have prime okay, so they have joint custody of the child. Why does he have $17,000 worth of joint custody on this child. That's why she's saying it's wrong because she's like, he doesn't need all of that. But the court has decided that that's what's appropriate. Yeah. So there had to be something. First of all, women never not get full custody of their child. Second of all, you are probably one of the most famous women in America, if I dare say. How could you not get primary custody of your child? I just want her to share with me how she did not get primary custody of her child. She's the mother, she's able, she's fit, she's financially uh, secure. She has multiple houses that the child could stay in. The child could go to private school. The child could have a, a bodyguard. The child could have a private driver. There's nothing in that equation where that child is at jeopardy if we look from the outside in. So how is it possible that he wants $17,000 in joint custody? We, let, let's finish this discussion. We have to take one last break, unfortunately. We'll be back with more TGI, and we'll discuss it all when we come back. Right after this. 